Yeah, hello everybody. This is Brian Garvin, and today we're going to talk about um, cryptocurrency and paying your taxes and, and your options. Um, everybody has a responsibility to pay taxes, and a lot of us don't agree with where the money goes, but we still have a fiduciary responsibility to be part of the process. Um, there's an old saying that says, you know, there's only two things you have to do in this world pay taxes and die. And some people actually get out of paying taxes, but for various reasons, but um, I recommend you pay taxes if you're in cryptocurrency. And the only reason that I know that you'll ever pay taxes is if you make a net profit and decide to convert it into fiat. Um, I'm gonna go over some options with you and at least it'll open your mind about taxes and, and you can decide which way you wanna go. Okay. Option one is you could do the taxes yourself. If you're if you're a CPA or an expert or you're just very skilled and you took some classes and you feel you can do them yourself, then go for it. That's your your right. Um, your second option is you can hire a CPA you know and trust. Um, there's really good CPAs out there, um, but try to find one if possible that specializes in cryptocurrency, especially if you're doing low caps and you're you're you're, you're in multiple exchanges. Um, you're gonna you're probably going to want a CPA that is pretty, uh, that really understands uh, paying crypto taxes. Um, you could talk to your own CPA and see what he says, and, and if he feels he can do it, well, go for it. it it's totally up to you. Um, the third option is, um, excuse me, uh, yeah, oh, one of the things I want to tell you is, is if you're a member of Coinbase, um, you, you've got some options. They have a pre-filled 8949 um, form that's already pre-filled in your back office and that form actually covers um crypto you know it, it's the form you it's a cryptocurrency tax form that you would send the government basically um the other thing okay the other thing you could do oh i want to also tell you they have a, a a gain and loss form in html csv and pdf format you know just your standard gain loss form and and um you would actually forward that to your cpa as well um so, so the, oh, the option three, okay. This is the option I wanna to talk to you about. Um, you can hire a company like CoinLedger. They're very popular. They came onto the scene, I think a couple years ago. And they, they are like a full service company when it comes to dealing with your crypto taxes. And there's several, re I wanna go over several reasons why, why I think they might be a little better than a CPA. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used them yet or I haven't used anybody because I, and currently I'm hodling all my Bitcoin and other, you know, altcoins in Ethereum. And, and I'm, when I pull it out, I'm going to, you know, based on how much I take out, I'm going to pay taxes on that money. Um, I'm, I'm the last person that, excuse me, I'm the last person that's going to try to tell you to avoid taxes because we all need to pay them, uh, as I mentioned before. Okay, so here are some reasons that you might consider using CoinLedger. I'm definitely looking at it for when I pull mine out. Um, they integrate seamlessly with TurboTax and Coinbase. Okay, and so if, if you like using TurboTax, you should be able to import the forms from, from CoinLedger or even Coinbase into TurboTax. Reason two, they will track your uh, crypto portfolio the entire year. There's actually an API you can use to plug into Coinbase, to, you know, that they used to plug into Coinbase from CoinLedger and they'll they'll constantly update and track your 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 taxes the entire year so you can always go back there and find out how much you owe um reason three if if you live if you're not from the united states if you live outside the u.s they have um international support they also obviously have u.s support but but if you're in england or you know denmark or some other country switzerland or whatever they, they will or canada mexico they will have support for you as well there um reason number four. Oh, this is a big reason this is a big reason if you're really if you're like one of those you know super high-tech crypto guys that are in not nfts or non-fungible tokens um, they have special software for this so you can actually use them for this and, and, and it'll track everything just the way it's supposed to you have to understand these guys are full-time crypto tax people i mean they Anything you think that they can't figure out, I can pretty much guarantee they can figure it out. And they have support and you can always write them. And you don't always have to be a, a paying member to write them initial questions. So that's something you, had, you know, something to think about. Um, and reason five is, 
I think I kind of mentioned this before, CPAs might or might not have a deep knowledge of NFTs and they might not have a pulse on the updated crypto regulations, which vary not only by country, but states have their own crypto regulations and um, they're state specific. So if you're trying to just do your taxes, you need to pay attention to your state crypto laws. And obviously most of us don't keep up touch with that. A few of us do, but I'm, I, I personally don't because I, I just let other people do my taxes and deal with it that way. Um, so they are, so as I mentioned before, I believe that CoinLedger is a definitive leader at this time for doing uh, taxes for people in the crypto space, like, like myself and like, like you probably are as well by the time you're watching this video. Um, so, oh, I want to, well, I think I mentioned this before. If you have coins on multiple exchanges, you need to download the tax info from each per exchange you participated in in the previous year. I wanted to make sure I got that point across because that's very important. Like, let's say you have some stuff on Coinbase. You might have a few coins on Kraken. Um, let's say you're more technically sophisticated than I am and, and you have them on a couple other exchanges like, um, I, I forgot the name of that one, but it's it's Uniswap, that's the name of it, or, or PancakeSwap or any of those you know exchanges. Um, you have to figure out how you're going to figure all that out. And, and that's something that they can help you with a coin ledger. So, you know, I'm not saying a CPA is bad, but you might have to research both and see which one works best for you. I'm not trying to sell you on coin ledger. I am an affiliate for coin ledger, but I'm not trying to sell you on coin ledger. I'm trying to help you make the de best decision for you. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We all press forward in our lives and do what's best for us. So that's about it. I just hope you have an incredible day and I will be in touch soon. Thank you.